This year in the year of St. Joseph, it's good to reflect upon some of the attributes of St. Joseph and some of the titles that have been used for him over the years. One of the most important titles is that St. Joseph is the patron saint of a happy death. Now that's a little bit odd because in the Gospels we don't hear about the death of St. Joseph. We assume that he was dead before the public ministry because in the Gospel of Mark, we hear that Jesus is the son of Mary. Now they would never say that in an ancient Jew and Jewish audience if the father were still alive. And remember, everybody thought that Joseph was the father of Jesus. They don't realize he's only the foster father. But this would mean that Joseph died before the public ministry. In other words, who was present at his deathbed? Most probably the Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus. And that's why he's the patron saint of a happy death. Because all of us would like to have Mary and Jesus alongside our bed when we're dying, because we're going to be afraid. Let's face it, dying is difficult. Death itself is not. The dying is. The surrender to the Lord. This is something that St. Paul talks about in the letter to the Philippians, where he says, if I live, that's great. I get to serve you. If I die, that's great. I get to be with the Lord. Whichever it is, whatever God wants, I'm ready. That's the attitude we're supposed to have as we approach death. But sometimes it can be difficult, especially if we're in pain, especially if there's something on our conscience that still bothers us. We haven't totally surrendered our conscience to the Lord for healing. And that's where the presence of Jesus, the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary can be such a consolation. I've known several people who, as they were getting ready for death, got a beautiful smile on their face. They might have been looking straight ahead or in the corner of the room and their faces literally lit up because they were seeing something that we weren't seeing. They were seeing Mary and Jesus arriving to take them home. And remember, that's not a difficult thing to think of because the saints don't exist in some never, never land a billion miles away. Heaven is a reality that coexists with this world. The saints are side by side with us. Otherwise, how would the Blessed Virgin Mary ever inter intercede for us? How would St. Saint Anthony find our car keys? Well, St. Joseph is also alongside of us. He's holding our hands along with Mary and Jesus so that when our time comes, we might surrender like he did and experience that happy death.